Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0 Day 7. Marty Muller with Summit Property Group from Houston, Texas. And today we are going to do a uh, kind of a short dive over the next three days into Sketch House. So a Sketch House is where we're going to create um, engaging visual marketing pieces simply and easily. So we can click on the Sketch House tab here. And you're gonna see some new things. If you've played in here before, but haven't spent a lot of time in it since, you're gonna see some new opportunities. So uh, the next three days, we're gonna focus on creating social templates. So you can either click on social here, or you can come down to the bottom right and click on this plus button, either way. And then you're gonna choose a social template. So let's choose social and then create template. That's then gonna connect you into WeBrand. And from there, I can go through and you can see all of these templates on the left-hand side. These are all different categories of templates. So let's say we were looking at a just listed category. So you can see just listed. And then across the top here, you have the different styles. So today we're focused on Facebook. So if I said just listed template and I wanted to make a Facebook post, I could put this one. So let's just say, let's use this template. Okay. Now that brings us into the editor from there. So it'll connect us to WeBrand and you'll see this is the WeBrand editor that we now have availability to play with. This thing is complex and we're not going to go through all of it today, but we'll go through a little bit of it each day if that makes sense. So first off, you can see the template here. Um, it has our KWDBA name. You're going to need to put in your own companies or your own brokerage or your own uh, offices, excuse me, uh, DBA's logo here. Okay. So um, when you come to this left-hand screen, as long as you are in images, you can click on add images. And the cool thing is you can link each one of these. If you have um, your Facebook account, Facebook, Instagram, Google Drive, Dropbox, and then I can also pull a image off of my hard drive and then load it here. So I already have the Kelly Williams uh, Platinum logo. So if I click on my library, you'll see I have a couple of uh, images already loaded into my library here. You can also click on company and see all of the stock images that Kelly Williams has loaded. Okay, so first off, what I wanna do is make sure that my DBA logo has been loaded. I'm going to click on the one that's already there and delete and then I'm going to click on mine and I'm going to basically whoops I did use this background that's not what I want to do so I can come up to undo and click on undo that pulls it away and then you can see I have the logo here I'm going to drag it into place and it's a little big so each one of these little white dots allows me to then shrink it I would always recommend starting on a corner because then it equally moves it left to right and top to bottom. So you're not skewing basically what the logo should look like. So there I have our um, platinum logo loaded in. This picture is not the picture of the house that I want. So I want to come back to um, add and I've actually already got my imported image. This is an image of the spa and pool for the, the uh, listing I want to feature. So I can actually just drag it over and it's going to replace that photo with the photo that I chose. I can come over here and I can just change this street name to 1906. Well, let me double click on there. Once I have this vertical icon here, you can kind of see it right there. It's going to allow me to delete what's already there and then put in what I'd like. 1906 Don Hollow Lane. All right. And there we are. I should be able to resize this box. Let's see if it's going to allow me to do that. I'm going to click off of that. <clears throat> and then you can see I've got the arrow there. Let's just, actually, I don't want to make it bigger. I just want to move it left to right. So there we go. So that fits all in one line. Looks nice and clean. And from there, I now have a simple graphic with our uh, platinum logo in, a picture of the spa and pool, and 1906 Dawn Hollow Lane. Really simple, really, sh I kind of just, just a little teaser image, if you will. Once I have it created, I can come up here and I can change the name. So I'll just do 1906 Don Hollow Just Listed. And I'm going to click on Save. And now that I have that saved, I want to go ahead and download it. So I'm going to click on Download. And for Facebook, I'm okay with getting a JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and change the quality to the highest possible. And then I want to just go ahead and click on Start Download. 
It's going to prepare that file and then here shortly it will download it so that I can then upload that. And you see down here at the bottom, there's my download. Here's my high quality picture of this listing and the picture. And I can then save that to my hard drive, go into Facebook and actually do that. I can also share it directly to Facebook, right? So here's another couple of items that we can do. Um, so we'll get into that a little bit later. And again, this WeBrand um, template editor is massive and there's so much to go over that we'll spend some time over the next few days working through it. But essentially that is the short and easy way. As soon as I am done, I can click on done. It's gonna take me back into command, into the sketch house template and you can see it's right here. Now this is the actual template. So I know it looks like, hey, that's not the one I saved. I changed that photo, etc. Once you click on it again, it should take you back into the one that you were editing. So for some reason, just for right now within command, it just shows the template photo and then you can get back in and actually look at the one you created if you wanna make some edits, whatever it may be. So that's it, kind of short and sweet today. Just um, a, a brief dive into Sketch House, creating social templates for Facebook. We are gonna get into um, Twitter, we're gonna do that, and we're gonna have a blue Instagram later this week. So um, if you're not using Facebook, but you wanna use one of those other social media channels, stay tuned, we'll have some more videos coming for you on those. Um, and then later on in the challenge, I'm guessing we'll have some time to do a di deeper dive on kind of Sketch House and all the cool stuff that we can do within there. But for right now, just a brief intro. Guys, I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. I hope that uh, you're planning for an amazing week coming up. And as always, I look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Thanks so much.